Good winter morning. Good winter morning. I don't know how to start this. We're gonna go with good morning. Good winter morning. Carl here from Valorat. Today we're gonna look at how do you choose the best photography glove for you. Best place to start is where you're going to be and how cold it's going to be. So all our gloves we've designed with different weather ratings from mild winter to deep winter. So we'll start with the, the warmer scale of things. You know it's mild winter, it's frost on the ground, it's crispy, you can see your breath but it's not eyeball freezing. Uh, the Markov, it's a great choice, it's your everyday glove we call this or we give this the nickname from the peaks to the streets. Because you can be out shooting landscapes and you can be strolling the city in those mild winter conditions when it's pearly and it's a little frosty but it's not um, frostbite worthy. So the Markov, that's a good choice there. Females, the Women's Nordic, the females version of the Markov. So there's a little bit more insulation because the females hands are tiny and we realize they get a little colder. So the Women's Nordic is your equivalent for your everyday glove for those mild, frosty, wintry days that's not bone chilling. So you're strolling down the street and the temperature drops. You need a midwinter glove which is your trigger mitt. Now either you're a mitt person or you're not a mitt person but these are fantastic. They keep you warm with your three fingers there in the compartment and your body temperature heats up your hands. So these are awesome uh, for that little bit colder ratings. But boom, it got super snowy and you need the deep winter. So we now have the Ipsuit. You're in the back country, you're shooting, snowboarding and skiing, big cliff drops, you're digging little snow caves and watching the northern lights. So this is our deep winter when you're dealing with the cold temperatures you're uh, handling a lot of snow or you're just freezing in Iceland and you're waiting for the sky to erupt with those beautiful aurora. Um, so that's the best place to start is the temperature rating. And uh, swipe to the next category. How to find your best glove. Best glove for you. You started with the temperature rating or the weather rating. Um, you know where you're going to be. What kind of style do you have? And a little bit about fashion, obviously which, which style do you like the most, but more, are you racing around a sports field? Are you racing up hills really fast, getting your one shot and racing back down? Or are you really sitting still in the cold for a long period of time? So those things might change the initial thought of how warm or cold you need your glove. Because if you're running around a lot, even if it's cold, maybe the Markov is better than the Ipsuit because you don't have the extra bulk. And the vice versa, if you're strolling around the cities but really you're just sitting on a street corner waiting for something to happen, you might need some extra warmth. So that's just a consideration. The liners. These are a great thing to add as an addition to the gloves because it gives you versatility within that hot cold temperature difference. If you're running around and then you stand still, uh, add these or running around with these and then add the gloves when you stand still it's a perfect way to have that layering um, combo and the versatility while you're shooting to stay warm so merino liners that's the fifth one of our model and that's just a perfect addition I always just have them in my bag and I'm using them every day what's the best glove for you <laughs> I hope that helped choose the range and uh, let us know if you need anything. I'm Carl from Valorant. Check us out at photographygloves.com. Happy shooting and have a great winter. Is. <laughs> <laughs>